What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about going from small to large in any uh, business, landscape, lawn care, uh, construction landscape, landscape design, uh, sprinkler uh, landscaping. If you can be trusted with little, let's say a $20 mowing job, you can be trusted with a $25,000 uh, construction landscape uh, install on a, um, I don't know, million dollar house. If you can be trusted with a $30 mowing job on someone's yard, a landlord property around, uh, I don't know, a rough neighborhood or the campus around your uh, college campus, you can be trusted with much. And if you're entrusted with little in the beginning, and let's say you uh, are very meticulous in how you manicure your yard with a weed whip, uh, edger, um, a lawnmower, and you have your cut patterns just right, and you uh, do everything that you're supposed to do, the word's going to get out. People are going to watch you. People watch the work you do. They're wondering, okay, I hear a lawnmower. Let's go check it out. Or uh, the little kid across the street's like, oh, I love watching uh, people work. And, you know, it's something different. It's different than watching TV. People want to see what you do and how you do it. And that you're not someone that they don't want to hire. I mean, if they see you do a good job, they might walk over and uh, ask you for your number. Say, hey, you know, can you mow my yard today? Uh, how much do you charge? And if your price is reasonable, let's say it's thirty dollars usually, and since the person wants it done today, you might charge forty or fifty. You know, um, if you can be trusted with little, you can be trusted with much. Um, if you start out with a twenty-dollar lawn and you have just a regular twenty-one inch push mower, and you start out with a weed whip and a blower as I did, all com uh, residential equipment. Um, it wasn't fancy, it was, uh, uh, where did I get that stuff at? I believe I got most of it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace. Uh, I may have bought some of the equipment um, from a friend who uh, repairs mowers on the side on the weekends. Um, the first year I was in business, I got over 650 yards to do. 650 yards is a lot uh, of work, but uh, it wasn't the only yards I did. You know, that wasn't just like, oh, one-time deals. It was uh, consistent. It was what, what you're looking for. You know, you, you want to start out with maybe uh, an account that only offers you 10 yards. Then they say, hey, uh, we need them done by... Um, Monday and it's Friday and you mow um, Saturday and Sunday some of the yards uh, the grass might have been anywhere from uh, a foot and a half to three feet tall uh, do you weed whip it knock it down to maybe uh, 68 inches then use the mower uh, th those are things that I had to deal with challenges and, and all that so I did what I could um, I ended up getting 110 properties from that account. That ended up being my largest account for the year. Actually, my first two years I was in business. Then, um, with that said, so like, they gave me 110 yards to go do. Um, I mowed them roughly every two weeks, so that's about about 70 or 80 yards per week to go mow. You know, you're working uh, 80, 90 hours a week. You're waking up at uh, early in the morning and you're just mowing. And you go home after sunset. And that's what I did. That's what I did the first three or four years of my uh, business. I still do it, but the point is, I started off small and by uh, I was lucky to find that customer. That customer helped me finance my business. That that got me off to a running start. The the second or third year, I found a nice commercial account that got me off to a, even a bigger start. Where I went and got a enclosed trailer. Where I got something bigger. Where I got nicer equipment. 
where I was able to replace some of the commercial, no, excuse me, residential equipment and got commercial grade equipment. You know, I started to look more professional. I had the same uh, commercial equipment that the big companies did, you know, X Mark. Then I went out and got uh, Hescavarna trimmers because I didn't want to be like everyone else having steel and echo. Then I went and got a uh, Hescavarna backpack blower. Then I went and got more Hescavarna equipment. And uh, I got a job box. And I went and got, you know, on and on and on. I mean, as, as you grow, you buy tools to meet the needs of the jobs that customers are requesting. And a lot of the time, if, if a customer will trust you with, um, what, what is it, uh, a thousand, or let's say a $30 mo job, they're going to trust you with uh, a $2,000 landscape job. So if you can be trusted with little, you can be trusted with much. And if you're trusted with much, you're going to be able to grow your business from small to big to bigger. And uh, it's not in your inability to do something. It's in your ability to be professional, to be uh, like uh, better than the competition, really, because you're not cutting corners. When you cut corners... It shows in the quality of work you do. Um, I think it's really important because as you grow your business, as you're not cutting corners, as you keep your standards high, the word's going to spread. You're going to get more landscape jobs. You're going to get more customers that want the lawns mode. So you can have two sides of the business, landscaping and uh, lawn care, lawn maintenance. You can go and start trimming trees. You can start, you know, adding more stuff to your insurance policy coverages so you're properly covered. I mean, these are this is so important. When you're doing work, make sure you're properly covered on your insurance policy. I can't um, say it enough. Insurance will cover you for different, many different reasons. Uh, liability reasons. Uh, wrong for sta wrongful statements, personal injury. So if you, uh, well, I think it's called libel. So if you said something that is totally wrong, if you caused, uh, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but you, you just got to look at your policy. Talk to your insurance agent. Uh, talk to an attorney. Talk to a CPA about anything that I talk about. Don't take my word. It's just general information I'm handing out through my YouTube channel, through my experience, a lot of people talk about all the money they made the first year, second year, fourth year, fifth year. Oh my goodness, I made $5,000 on a job. Okay, so what? You know, can the new person that's just starting out with a push mower, weed whack, and a trimmer, or a blower, I'm sorry, relate? Relate to you made $5,000 off a job, you know? like. Did you actually make 5000 or was that $5,000 in the pocket of the business, not your pocket? Because a lot of times I hear, oh, I, I did, uh, I made 5000 Well, I know a lot of people that uh, own lawn businesses, and there's one or two people that I've known over the years that have a million dollar business, but they only take home like 50000 60000 you know? Uh, yeah, the business might pay for the business expenses, let's say their truck, to get back and forth to work that has a business wrap on it, and they can use that, you know? But you got to think about it. Not everybody is uh, ha has a million dollar business. Not everybody has all the bells and whistles in the business yet, and they can't, they won't relate. So I try not to really talk about dollars. I talk about what matters most is the, the principle. You're going to go find it, um, the jobs. You're going to be able to apply the principle. These are sound advice. Um, if you can be trusted with little, you can be trusted with much. And once you're trusted with much, you can take your business to even a bigger level. Bigger levels take 
will uh, show your competition that you're you're in the business for the long term and let's say you're not in the business for the long term but you're in it to uh, get to a lifestyle you're looking to be the next uh, whatever multi-millionaire retire you sell your business and you want to retire you have I don't know money in the bank take your family on vacation and you're retired maybe you want to go out and start a different kind of business because the landscape business got you to uh, the level you needed to be for the down payment on a restaurant that you, you always wanted to dream of owning a franchise of a Jimmy John's or a McDonald's or a Taco Bell or some kind of fancy restaurant or maybe you wanted to own a hotel you know maybe you sold your lawn business to buy a hotel who knows but a real estate you know but the uh, bottom line is if you like this video give it the big thumbs up don't cut the corners spread the word uh, check us out on patreon if you can be trusted with little you can be trusted with much it's all about um, being honest being straightforward and if you find this video of any value check uh, click on the link down below for the PayPal and donate one dollar five dollars or ten dollars thanks again